You guys know I yell all the time when I do these videos, so we got one last time, the final time. <laughs> Due to the purposes of getting this out on the same day, I cannot talk about the entire episode running through. So we're just going to talk about the important bits and pieces. And this is the final time I'm making my prediction. So stay tuned for the end for the final, 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 final prediction. Anyways, we got Zeke basically dead, right? But look, as soon as he's about to die, right? He sees your mirror. That's your mirror. I don't know what this means. I don't know how the hell this. Look at this disgusting shit. They just ripped your guts? What the shit? I'm just trying to get into the good stuff, so I'm run, I'm just sweeping through this. For those of you who don't pay attention, if you have a white band, it means you're a Yakers. If you have a red band, it means you drank your fortune into wine. And if you have a black band, you're clueless. So Pixis and Yelena have this talk. I'm not gonna go in depth with this because I'm trying to get to the predictions part at the end. But anyways, Zeke, <laughs> Pixis and Yelena have this talk, right? And it's basically saying how Pixis does not know the true plans of Yelena because because he thinks that oh yeah we're just gonna do the rumbling test run and then this and this nobody uh uh. That's not how it works. Did you look at the last couple episodes, Pixis? No. Oh, you might be wondering, what is the Scouts doing in prison? So, they're in prison and like, yo, we need to bust out of this bitch. That's what Connie said. He's like, can you transform Armin? That, that is by far the dumbest thing you've ever said. You saw the explosion. So, when we're talking about Aaron saying hurtful things to be in here, right? Connie just completely lost hope in Aaron. He's like, yo, that piece of shit, <laughs> we can't trust him. But Jean's like, he must have done it for a good reason. Mm. So maybe Aaron does not hate Mikasa. Maybe he loves Mikasa in a 360 spiral turn that is a shocking plot twist to the entire anime. After Jean said that, why does Mikasa look so happy? She's like, ah. So we transfer over to this niche, right? A couple videos ago, I'm the one who called him irrelevant. And now he's talking the most shit. So basically, if you didn't see the scene, Here's how it went. She's the spawn of a devil. She just like potatoes. She's nothing. She's just useless. She's a piece of Stop. shit. Stop. You hurt my feelings, man. You hurt me. <laughs> and then she got shot by a kid. Niccolo. 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 She got shot like pow. <laughs> so Aaron fights Gavin. He's like, little bitch, work with me. And then P comes in two seconds later, holds a gun to the founding titan. Where do you think this is going? It's like, you have a love or hate relationship with Aaron. I hate him one episode, then I like him the other. Like, what the? What the huh? So then Aaron is sitting here like, you know you can't kill me, right? Then Peek was like, Fuck. He had the gun to the forehead up in this bitch. Bro, somebody needs to shoot her mouth, bro. She's sitting here talking about, but what are we fighting for? Bro, nothing. So look, we got Peek's full intentions, everybody. Peek, the beauty queen, is on our side, bro. Look, she wants to save her family. She wants to save the Eldians and the whole world, bro. Let's cherish this moment. We have the car titan on our side. And she brings up a good point. Once Barley and finds no use for Eldians, they're just gonna kill them all. Are you that stupid? Bro, I know I was talking shit about Aaron, but my son Aaron coming with the drip. Literally, he is so used to cutting himself, bro. I can never live in this world. So, Yelena tells them about the plan to eventually stop Eldians from having babies. So, now they're on the same pace. And after Yelena's telling them this plan, all you just hear is, <laughs> Why are you crying, Armin? Because I agree. <laughs> Fuck children. We got news of an intruder alert, and then we got him saying, What's all the ruckus about? I think ruckus is starting to go in my one of my favorite words now. But now he, she's like, Hello, everybody. And then everybody's busy there, nutting their pants. And then we got freaking Galliard right there. The attack on Titan are freaking sneaks, bro. So Aaron tells Gabby that Falco has spinal fluid in his mouth, right? And then Gabby's like, Dang, gosh, that was my fault. Oh, really? Peek is like, Do you even know how Zeke has this ability or shit and shit like that? Like, and Aaron doesn't even even know nobody but zeke knows this is so weird how does he have this ability to have his spinal fluid like basically so flexible this see this episode is looking so crystal for us so we got this scene right look at how they open the door this is just pure attention she's like man i kind of like you with the beard why didn't you shave it elena's like shut off elena's like be careful do you do you trust her and aaron doesn't trust her but he said it's mutual i said mutual the first time i don't judge me so then she's like yeah do you know where zeke is and look how crisp this Look how crazy we got the hair blown in the wind. He's like, nah, I'm not telling you that shit yet. He's re Aaron is ready. He has the he has the and look at this. He's like, hold your fire. Aaron got the thing behind his back. He got the cut. He's ready to transform. We got pure tension building up, bro. Then she squeezes Gavi's hand, and what does she say? The enemy is right there. Can't trust Peak, but you still look good though. Bro, bro, he bites both of Aaron's legs off, bro. Aaron's legs chopped off, gone, <laughs> gone, bro, gone. That's a quick difference. Galliard is hand drawn. What does this mean for the rest of this? You no, know, every time something happens, something transforms. 
I always end up yelling, so here's the, the last yell I'm doing for Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 1. <laughs> we got McGath, we got Raina, the hero of the show. And then they're ready to get down. Look at this pure hand drawing. They got the best of the best to do this episode. Look at this Aaron, long hair, no beard. Look at how clean this looks and they just ended off right here i kind of want to break myself now now time for the predictions guys first of all think, let's think mama bro they didn't use cgi you know why all the complaints about it so they didn't use cgi this scene was way too clean bro four part two is confirmed to come out in winter 2022 meaning the january through march schedule sometime in between there 2022 so those of you were worried oh oh is there gonna be a part two? Is there gonna be a part two? Look at all my other videos and tell me what I've been saying the entire time. What predictions are that, bro? Is Levi dead? No, Levi's not dead, bro. He's definitely has to be alive, bro. I don't think they would kill off Levi like that. Zeke, is Zeke alive? Yes, Zeke is alive because. Oh, okay, let's talk about How that. did this random Titan come to Zeke when Zeke killed them? I mean, when Levi killed all 30. Like, did it have to do with the back of his neck that, that people were talking about in the last episode? There was some crystal looking thing, which wasn't hardening, apparently. I don't know. Another theory going around is Ymir can possibly, this is not mine, so don't give me the credit for this. That Ymir could possibly resurrect or some shit. Like, how is he seeing Ymir? And why does it say to you in 2000 years in the first episode of Attack on Titan and in the season four teaser? We don't freaking know, guys. Anyways, that's the finale of this shit, bro. The finale of part one. We did almost covered everything. I'll see you guys in the next video.